what is up everyone another inori jungle tier list this one's going to be the one going into season 13 the new season about to open its arms to us the one coming around the corner january 10th so this is the tier list i'm going to have for the current patch and what i think going into the new season is going to be the best options and i've just been playing the game constantly for this whole preseason and i can tell you exactly what is the most broken right now and let's get right, right right into the tier list and starting at the very s plus plus these are the most abusing champions in the current meta they're just so broken they're so oppressive because of a few things we're going to highlight right now and it's demonic embrace so demonic embrace is very broken on these new junglers that they rush it first and it helps their clear speed and it turns these junglers into damage tanking machines okay that's the highlight of the tier list and going for the first one udyr udyr has actually been performing very well i think un people have been still losing him win rate right on the tiger form the tiger form was op for that patch but it went downhill quite quickly now the phoenix is supreme it did get buff as well so phoenix udyr is very strong with demonic rush yes his build path is very straightforward demonic into jack show and just getting very tanky is your goal with dark seal as well so this is like the trend right now demonic on these melee tanky ap ratio junglers are super broken it just gives them a great uh, first item buy that lets them clear fast and also speeds up their clear a lot actually and does enough damage where you puts the carry as a high threat or the it puts a lot of threat on the carry and makes the tank very strong the most broken jungler though is zach so zach has been performing so well because the buffs he received them patch before and he's just living large with the demonic embrace item is super broken on him first buy with cdr boots whichever you want i'm gonna show you guys the runes and items here i want you guys to just know this going into the season zach is a monster with this abusing items thing his ability his damage his tankiness is all super broken he just does so much and it's very oppressive. I hope he gets nerfed in the next patch. But this is just the meta right now. These tank junglers are clearing very quickly with Demonic Rush. And they're just able to gank and outscale junglers by level 6. Next to him, we have the same thing, Maokai. Maokai is a bit different though. He's a bit different. His build path is more flexible. You can go AP or tank. Zach is more of just a pure tank where you go like demonic into jack show into Red radiant virtue or evan trout i've seen all these items and they're all good on him so you don't have to worry as long as you're building one after that you're doing a good job maokai you can go into the jack show after demonic or you can go into the leandries and i've seen some ap maokai and it has looked pretty good in some of the of the games i played it so i think you guys can definitely make the ap maokai work where you go you know just like high ap items on him but same thing with him, he's just so strong once you get 6 with Demonic, with the Jack Show, it's just so oppressive. I think these junglers are free LP if you guys are going into the new season. If they have not been nerfed yet, I think they are going to be the one and only for you guys to capitalize on. Next we have Yi. Yi is actually just a tank killer and he's so good low low. I actually played a lot in my Smurf account, I'm doing a Smurf to Challenger, Gold to Challenger. We're almost diamond right now and i've seen so many master yi bans and i can kind of understand i think master yi is actually very strong i think people just don't know how to deal with master yi he does really well he snowballs and he always gets all these free kills that are happening around the map so around the map you just end up seeing kill after kill and master yi getting kills that get him his blade his rage blade these kind of items are just going to put him in such a snowbally position and that's when master Yi is just the deadliest when he has those extra items and he can just kill you and get tankier and you're just in a terrible spot those are the best junglers i think on the patch moving on to the ap category these ones have been doing really well evelyn especially has just, just been performing very well her clear her her changes to her passive where you can just invis so quickly it's really annoying to play against i personally am very sick of playing against evelyn i don't like playing against evelyn i hope they nerf her but she is very op because of that and elise same thing she's just such a good strong level three ganker i love elise i think she's a great option if you want a more aggressive but harder champion to play early echo is more farm oriented but he is also a top tier ap jungler because of how well he can just kill people with item spikes next moving on to the more s plus junglers here is my low low recommendation i think amumu is super broken right now i recommend you guys try it i watched i played a game on my on my stream today and i'll show you guys the game on my youtube channel later but a moo jungle very broken demonic into jack show into more tankier items are so good i had such a great time highly recommend you guys give that a try it's going to be really good and next we have kindred kazix rexai bramus so these ones kindred is good she she does well into some tankier champions it's, she's more of a skill expression champion so it takes more 
you have to not mess up on her to really perform here. If you like range, eight, range 80 carries like the Graves play style, Kindra is definitely for you. Kha'Zix is the assassin. I've been playing him a lot with the Ravenous Hydra into Grudge build. Or not Grudge, sorry. Ravenous Hydra into Eclipse or Claw and later going into like Edge of Night Grudge. Felt really good. I recommend that with First Strike is super strong. Rek'Sai, of course, you know, I've just a god at her. And I think she's actually very strong right now. If you know how to play her, I... I find her actually playing better and better and more. I think when Demonic gets nerfed, she will be even better. So we're going to be doing good as Rek'Sai. I think she's strong now. So I think you're good if you're trying to play Rek'Sai. Ram is the turtle or the armadillo. Very tanky. Same thing. He doesn't go Demonic, so he doesn't get that clear speed advantage. But he's just so tanky. So he's definitely good. Low elo. S plus AP. So S plus AP. Silas Jungle, I talk a lot of it, I put a bunch of videos that I actually think it's very strong now. I think you need to know how to play it, but when you learn how to play it and you're able to capitalize on it, it's very impressive. So I think Silas Jungle, very good if you know how to snowball and play that Silas. Fiddle, he's a one-trick jungler, so he's good if you one-trick him. Don't recommend him. I'd rather see you guys play Diana and Mordekaiser if you want easy AP junglers. Diana and Mordekaiser, very strong right now. Their build paths are a bit different, but for Diana, you can go like Nashers into whatever you want you can also go demonic on her too but i do like bruiser on her where you go rift maker jack show as your mythic something like that not going for protobel because i think assassination is not really an option nowadays with how tanky champions have been getting mordekaiser same thing rylas rush has shown really good reflection when i've been playing against it it looks very good so i recommend that kind of build path for mordekaiser that's the majority of it why tier list you're probably why wondering what i had the Y tier list for why is my tier list of why are you picking these champions i think these are all terrible champions i question why you're picking them jarvin is just terrible right now all these champions engage better they're tankier they deal more damage than jarvin he's a waste of a pick lee sin is a bait anyone who picks lee sin is not gonna progress it's like smoking when you're a kid it's gonna stunt your growth right you're losing out on years of your life if you are playing lee sin so don't waste time on it kane just got nerfed so hard with the new jungle i think he struggles a lot red or blue it doesn't seem like it's good either way so i don't recommend him and the dog is the dog people have been telling me nasa jungle is good but i don't see it and i don't think it's worth playing so hope you guys like that tier list i've been doing a goal to challenge your grind on my twitch.tv slash anori stream i stream usually around 10 p.m pst that's western time up until around 7 a.m pst so hope you guys to catch some streams if you're watching and definitely follow my stream if you haven't already. I'll update you guys more there. Definitely join my Discord. I'm glad you guys have been liking this video. I'll probably make another tier list when the season hits and we get to see more of like what champions are progressing and doing better. But this is going to be the tier list for you guys going into the season. Just get a, a good digestion of what's good. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already liked the video too. And I'll see you guys next time.